Hi guys, it's Ilze B here with my Friday video and if you follow me you probably expect me to say I am a Latvian and I teach Latvian for English speakers and that's all true of course I teach Latvian for English speakers but today I wanted to make this video a little different because I am not only the Latvian language teacher in fact that is a new business form that I started here in the United States uh, before when I lived in Latvia I owned a translation agency and another company and I am an entrepreneur and an active person but sometimes because maybe I had those positions I tend to withhold some opinions that I actually have as a person and something happened last week that caused me thinking maybe I should speak up more often because that way I could make more positive impact and that's what I want to do so I'll tell you what happened last week uh, if you follow me, you remember that last week my theme or my topic for free video posts and for my blog post was Latvian slang. But those are not the only channels through which I give free content to my followers. I also strive to give some extra benefits to those people who have signed up to receive my email. So last week, since the topic was Latvian slang, I was thinking of more slang to teach. And to come up with some ideas, I decided to get on one of Latvian news portals and look at some articles that concern Latvian politics politics because as we know politics usually tend to cause lots of emotions and sure enough I found comments and some were quite juicy so I picked one that was particularly rich in slang I copied it I pasted it in the email that I prepared for my students and I translated it and I'll read to you how I interpreted it it's actually not direct translation I basically let to know what the meaning of the comment was because it was full of slang and I could not find matching slang in English. So this is what it said. The minister knows what advice he needs. Perhaps that's advice about how it feels to serve a short-term jail sentence for driving drunk. And I have to explain to you that I didn't even read the article because I was short in time, I had other tasks to do. I simply interpreted and explained the slang in this comment and I sent it off. But later I remember that comment and I was curious to find out what it was said about. And I found out that this was said about our new Minister of Economy and his young advisor in public relations, Beata Jonite, who served five-day jail sentence for driving drunk in 2016. And so, since I had never heard about Beata Jonite before, I looked her up on the internet and I came across her YouTube channel, where she actually openly talks about her jail sentence in beautiful English by the way so you can look her up but what I want to say is that I watched several of her videos and Beata is very young and she started vlogging when she was a teenager uh, in English and you can see all that she's a fashion blogger she started as a fashion blogger and now she also talks about her other experiences about her love for music and for traveling and also about her ambitions to become a politician and she is very well educated she has bachelor's degree in economy and in politics and now she's building her career as a politician but that's not all i also noticed that she was talking about her instagram account so i found her instagram account i started following her and one of the posts led me to her Facebook account where I saw her video, her latest video posted on February the 1st, that was quite disheartening and I'll talk about that. 
And that actually gave me the impulse to make this video and to make it a little different and to reconsider how I show up for my posts and if I am actually using my potential to its maximum. Of course I'm not. I am aware of that now more than before, before I saw this video of Beata Ionite. And what it was about was how she has been harassed and cyber bullied because she is simply building her career. And when I first saw this video that she made in Latvian on her Facebook channel, I felt really sorry for her because she is so young, she could be easily my daughter and I wouldn't wish uh, to my child what she is going through right now. But then when I watch it again, I was actually awed at her strength and she is not asking for sympathy in her video post. She is rather using this occurrence of harassment to talk about the phenomena that actually exists in Latvia and that I have not been talking about. And that is cyberbullying against women and usually the language or the points that are used are women or female sexuality or how they look and about their age, either they are too young or they are too old and they look fat or ugly or not that beautiful. And that is something that I don't really see in English that much because my audience, all people, you are so kind and I'm blessed having such wonderful audience, but that doesn't mean that this doesn't exist. And as you learn Lat Latvian, you, I won't be able to hide this from you. You will come across these posts and these comments. And now I want to talk about this. And I want to say that probably these are remnants from the Soviet times because during the Soviet times the ruling power used such tools as harassment and bullying and humiliation and that kind of thing to control people. And I have personally also had that in my life and that had also probably changed me. I didn't experience it the same way as Beata is experiencing it right now. But I have to say that that the person who affected me that way was very close to me and therefore it was even more painful. But that's not why I'm making this post. I mentioned this just to say that what Beata said resonated with me. And I thought that if this young woman has courage to stand for herself and talk about these things, I should be able to talk about uncomfortable things too. At the end of her video, Beata actually says very inspiring words. She urges us Latvians to appreciate each other, to learn how to praise each other, and to learn how to be proud of each other, because there are so few of us in this world. And we need to talk about each other kindly. And that was so inspiring that I was thinking to myself, Am I looking at our future president? So Beata, if you are watching this, know that I am supporting you. You have made me to rethink how I show up and how I talk to my audience. And I'll try to talk more openly about the reality of Latvia, which not always is pleasant. Sometimes it is unpleasant. And I feel that it's almost my duty I have to talk about all things that are Latvia nowadays because there are some people who I know want to move to Latvia and there are some people who want to go to study to Latvia and I love Latvia from all my heart but I also want those people to be prepared for their next move. And just by coincidence, somebody wrote to me yesterday and revealed to me that he wants to study in Latvia and he said that he has heard that Latvia is cost efficient. And we started a little dialogue because I wanted to clarify what he means by saying cost efficient. And my answer was, it depends what he means by cost efficient. And probably my next post is going to be about 
whether or not Latvia is cost efficient. But uh, in order to conclude this video today, I will teach you one sentence that Beata used in her video, and that was, Lepoisimies viens ar otru. And that means, let's be proud of each other. I'll repeat that sentence, Lepoisimies viens ar otru. Once more, Lepoisimies viens ar otru. And now, just before I finish up, I'll remind to you that you can sign up to receive my emails by my webpage, ilzb.com. Go to any of my blog posts and there you'll see a pop-up window that will give you an opportunity to sign up and I'll give you extra information about how to learn Latvian and about Latvian culture. But now, indeed, bye-bye, Ata, till the next time.